Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 23. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over the flip horizontal and flip vertical feature within Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, let's go ahead and go to the Designs Gallery. This is something that we've never seen in previous tutorials and I won't be going in depth over the designs gallery I'm just going to be going there so that we can use a photo to demonstrate how the flip horizontal and vertical feature works so let's go to design gallery on the right hand side and if you don't see that over there in the menu over here then go to your and I'll show you what the design gallery looks like by left clicking on it first so this is what the design gallery looks like when you click on it but if you can't see that over there go to utilities in your menu at the top of your program and we go to utilities go to galleries and make sure that there's a checkbox by the option that says designs galleries so, and if there's a checkbox there then you should see it on the right hand side of your screen or depending on how you have the program set up it may be somewhere else so go to the designs gallery and you're going to go to the last option here and the last option here says photos that's where you want to go to and you'll see these little folder icons if you click on left click on the folder it'll give you a sub menu and there's two type of photos that you have you have landscape and portrait in this case I'm going to choose probably the portrait one doesn't really matter whichever photo you click on it, you still can use the picture for this particular tutorial so it's not based on what picture you use so go ahead and scroll through this gallery using the scroll bar to your right and I'm gonna lock my panel that way it doesn't move anywhere and Let's see, I'm going to find a picture in here that we can use to demonstrate. I'm trying to find a picture that I like. Well, doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and grab one of these pictures and drag them onto the, your workspace. So what you'll do is you'll left click, hold that left click mouse button down, and drag it into your workspace and let go of your left click mouse button. And once you do that, it'll place the picture into your document. And if it doesn't place it in there, then it may mean that you have to download the picture. And in that case, you would just double click on, on the picture or drag it to your workspace and it should download it. If you have any problems uh, accessing these pictures for some reason, just let me know. And I'll do my best to assist you with, with getting those photos to work. So you can go ahead and close this designs gallery panel now that we've got the, the photo out of there. And what we're going to do is we're going to with this picture selected we're going to go to our our menu up here where you see the flip horizontal and flip vertically and let's go ahead and click the flip horizontally and take notice of what way this picture is, fo is facing you see that the this big boat is on the left so let's go ahead and, and left click that and now you see that it's on the right so if you have a picture that you need to change the orientation you just hit that flip horizontal button and it'll change the direction that the photo faces and I'm clicking it just to show you that it switches the photo back and forth so if you click it once it'll you know flip it to the to the right big boat on the right and if you click it again it'll place it back to its original position the other option you have is flip vertically and that allows you to flip things up and down and that's immediately to the right of the flip horizontally if you left click on that changes the photo from being up the correct way to upside down and this can also be, be applied to any other object that you have in the program so the same procedure would apply if you were dealing with a quick shape you would just left click it and then choose one of these options up here to flip horizontally or flip vertically but I want to show you some other practical uses of that tool go ahead and hit your control key hold or hold it hold down your control key and press C while holding that down. Once you do that, uh, I want, after you make a copy using that method, I want you to go to your range menu. No, go ahead and go to your uh, your edit menu actually. So go to edit menu, look for your paste option in there. And once you find the paste option, a drop uh, a flyout menu will come up, and you'll go to the next menu and you'll select paste in place. Once you do that. Go ahead and go to your 
with that photo selected I know you can't see that there's two copies here but I'll drag it out so you can see then I'm gonna hit undo to put it back in place uh, but with the top copy selected let's go ahead and hit the flip vertically and we're gonna flip that photo upside down and then while holding your control key left click on the photo and keep that control key down and the left click mouse button and drag downward and this is going to lock it to the the vertical axis if you drag you know parallel up up and down or vertically I should say so dragging up and down like this it should stay in position if you hold the control key and another thing you can check for is just to make sure that this snap to objects option is on because that can help you too in keeping it within the proper position and with with this left photo selected I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit so you can see both photos a little bit better. But with you zoomed out some, make sure that you have the the bottom picture selected and go to your toolbar and select the transparency tool. Left click on that and then you're going to while holding the control key, left click over that kind of towards the, the top of the bottom of that picture that's upside down. You know, and left click and drag downward and you'll see that you kind of get this effect where it looks like the photo is kind of reflecting almost into a you know a floor or something and it kind of gives a sensation that it's fading into the floor and it's reflecting off of some kind of object I don't know if you can see that on the screen here sometimes it's kind of hard to see that when you're looking at a video but yeah, if you look at that closely, it'll look like it's actually fading into uh, the white space of this workspace. Maybe if, maybe if I put a, a black rectangle behind it, you'll see it a little bit more. Eh, no, it's more seeable when you don't have it there. But yeah, it looks like it's basically fading into the, the ground and it's reflecting off of an object. And I'm sure you've seen this effect some places and hopefully it's noticeable enough here where you'll see that it, it looks like it's kind of reflecting or fading into a uh, particular surface alright so that's how I use the flip, it, flip vertically and horizontally feature if you have any questions let me know and I hope this tutorial was helpful in teaching you how to use the flip horizontal and vertically feature within XR Web Designer 7 Premium thanks again and if you like this video Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.